With the NCAA granting college athletes an extra year of eligibility presented a very unique opportunity for graduating seniors. It gave them a chance to close out their career with a different program if they wanted to. But luckily for Montana State, the Bobcats are welcoming back three very familiar faces. Bobcat Nation, it's a Bill Muhammad here, man. What's up, Bobcat Nation? I'm excited to announce that I will be returning back for another year. Can't wait to get to work. Can't wait for you guys to be in the brick. All right, let's go get this chip. Run It Back was the common theme on each of their announcements that was posted to social media last week. It's a motto the three seniors have been holding on to since their loss in the Big Sky Championship. The season didn't finish how we wanted it to last year. And I feel like that loss definitely made it a lot easier to come back. Another big factor in their return was loyalty. Coach Frank trusted me and gave me a chance when nobody really gave me a chance, so I owed it all to him. My situation was rare where I had once sit one year, play one year, and he didn't care. He took a chance on me, allowed me to come red shirt and get better. And I feel like we owe that to him to come back and get him a championship. And while all three had the same mindset, the process of bringing them back wasn't so easy. With six incoming freshmen, there were no scholarships to give. We had to raise a lot of money to do it. And you know, I want to thank our six man club, and some other people that, that really stepped up and made big contributions to make it possible for those three to come back. Their return to the Bobcats locks in last year's same starting five, but their veteran leadership is what Coach Sprinkle is most excited about. These veteran guys being able to help the six freshmen, it's important for them to kind of trickle down what we've tried to do the first two years. We feel like we have a lot to prove. Um, you know, people might still doubt us, whatever the case may be, but uh, as long as the people in this, in our circle, organization, and school believe in what we're trying to do, I think we'll be fine. Reporting in Bozeman, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.